Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In this Quick Win Wednesday, we're going to have a look at EME numerations and what you can do with that in a form in a LiveWire component. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so I have this uh, LiveWire component over here. Select an option which uh, has three options, new, in progress, and completed, and a save button. And if I click save, I get a dump or die of that selected value. All right. Um, what is this? This is actually an, um, a component in Livewire which has a choice, uh, a store choice function which which is dumping or dying the selected choice, and a render function which renders this little form here, where we have uh, a select with three options. Now, usually, we tend to use um, things called an enum, and yeah, well, these enums can vary from time to time so it is a bit of a hard task to change all the forms that have make use of this enumeration value so what i like to do is i like to um, tell this hey this is actually a string and i like to translate that to whatever it is um, like so so let me quickly do this there we go there we go and now the power of this is that we can erase the whole thing here. Let me just close this up, get rid of this, and we can just uh, loop through for each, um, which has the task um, status enumeration cases as option. There we go. And in here, we can just print out the value sorry, the value, the name and the value. And if I, whoops, if I just save that and we re-render this, we get the same output. And now we also have the to-do, um, which is an option in our enumeration. And the cool stuff is this, uh, the choice that we make is simply the same thing as before. It prints out the name that was selected. And Another cool feature is if we now say, well, in case it was um, in progress, we can add on hold and maybe we can add another um, case called, um, well, I don't have canceled, uh, but um, let's say in review, review like that. There we go. Save that. And if we refresh here, we have those options available right away. So that's basically how I like to use enumerations in the forms that I build. Um, yeah, no guessing if I changed everything everywhere, which need to be changed. Just one simple location where I can um, uh, take control of my options in my own enumerations, as example here with a task status or whatever you can think of. Um, so yeah, I hope you learned something from this video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. So I will see you in one of the next videos. Take care. Bye-bye.